remember them days down the block when we had rules, we then had clocks Selling packs, it in our socks, we had blows, we had rocks Now we running for the cops Hey, just cause you came from nothing don't mean you ain't gonna make it to the top. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, and oh yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, King Yellow from Ada Block 073. Y'all know what's going on. Gang! Yo. Your boy King Yellow, man. Like, comment, subscribe, share, man. Um, y'all know a few months ago, I lost my homie in um, Cook County due to um, something they found inside of him or something like that. My uh, dead inside a cell in Cook County, man. You know, uh, fighting for your life in jail. And then, you know, uh, the police obviously ain't doing their job. No matter what y'all allow, and can't nobody get nothing inside these jails except the COs, the officers. So if somebody losing their life inside these jails, man, it's the jail fault. That's the officer's fault. For, you know, I've been in jail. That's what they do. It is what it is. Um, but... It ain't about that. Um, it's about that, but it ain't about my homie right now. Uh, Make a do from 600, man. Um, unfortunately, lost his life. They found him dead in the cell today, man. Um, and they ain't saying it like he was stabbed or uh, nothing like that. I saw that they said he overdosed. Um, and if he overdosed... How's these drugs giving you not overdosing uh, of meds? Um, like I said, man, these officers are allowing, these jails are allowing stuff in. They're not doing their job and, that, and things coming in and people unfortunately losing their life, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this was a friend of King Von. This is a friend of uh, Mimo 600, 600 Breezy. Rondo number nine, C day, E day, Tay six hundred, he from over there, man, you know. Uh, no matter what nigga from or a brother from, um, you losing your life, especially he was in there fighting two murders. And um unfortunately he lost his life due to these circumstances. You know, uh that ain't a it's not a a good way to go out, but it wasn't gun violence. It wasn't, you know. But still, when you your life is in the hands of somebody else, y'all gotta understand people fighting two murders, murders and stuff like that, uh, being locked up anyway. You you could feel so little inside, like you can't do nothing. These people telling you want to piss. Uh, boo boo, they telling you when to eat, they telling you what to do. You know, I would be honest with y'all. People cope with drugs, man. People use drugs, man. If they could get them, find them inside of the jail, they're gonna use them. That's just what it is. Uh, it's to escape reality. Some people need to get high. Some you got people on on the streets that use drugs to escape reality. So in jail, you know they escaping reality, but. It's just sad, man. We, y'all, us as people, but people that's working in these institutions and stuff, y'all need to, to secure and really care about people because they got all these drugs coming through. Like I said, I lost Lumo to the same situation. You know what I'm saying? Um, never saw that coming in a million years that we'll get a call saying, and your homie lost his life in jail, overdosed. Yeah. And who fought is, I mean, even if you you, you using drugs, um, you're in jail. It shouldn't be no way that you should be able to get your hands on it. So when it comes down to it, it's the system fault for allowing these type of things to come through the door. You know what I'm saying? But, man, it's, you know, like I'll be serious. Like people be thinking I'll be playing, capping. We as black people already lost too much. We losing too much. It's not. 
it's not cool, man. Like I'm a I'm a real one at the end of the day. I don't care how nobody feel about me. Um I ain't the shorty that never did nothing to me. I don't know, you know. So I send my condolences out uh to his family, his mama, his daddy, and stuff like that, because at the end of the day, already dealing with Chicago, Cook County. It's the worst of the worst. Um and uh I did time in there, and I know what people go through, and I know how it feel. You know, I know how it feel to be excuse me, taken away from your family. Uh, I don't, unfortunately, I don't know how it feel to be fighting two murders, just one murder, but a double homicide, bro. That's like different. That's different on your mind. That's that's different. Like you. You know, tell them what's on your mind, man. But, uh, for the people that is in there, man, stay away from them drugs, man. Stay away from things like that because y'all don't know what people sending them to jails, man. Fitting all, all type of stuff could be sent in that place, and who care? They want us to die. They don't care. Another black brother gone. It ain't gone for violence, but it's gone to drugs or whatever. You could OD off the drugs, the mess they give you in there. Take too many of them, you know. It is, it is sad, man. It is sad, man. So, like I said, man, I sent my condolences out. You know, um, rest in peace, shorty. You know, you know, while we trying to stop everything and you look up, niggas dead on the street, dead in jail. It's like, we not safe nowhere, obviously. 